What's up guys, we're going to be starting a new series here on this channel where I'm pretty much going to be taking on the relationship vice at Reddit. And if you don't know about Reddit, you don't know about these relationship posts, you are missing out. And the reason I say that is because a lot of this stuff is gold and it is red pill gold. It is, you need to wake up, son. So I'm going to be going through a few of these and I'm starting a new series on this. I can't wait for it. This is going to be big. This is really going to be big. So getting right into it, my wife has been having an emotional affair and is gaslighting me. Oh, really? Hmm. Let's see. Let's dig deep into this. All right. Hi, all. I'm in quite a horrible place at the moment, and I'm struggling to cope with everything that's going on. All right. Let's see what's going on in this man's life. All right. Please bear with me. Have any advice? Greatly appreciated. This one. So strap in. We're strapped in. We're locked and loaded. We're ready. Let's go, baby. All right. What was he? Married 12 years. All right. This man's 39. So in his 20s, got married. Important. Notice that. 20s. Married. Big mistake. Mistake number one. All right. Three beautiful kids. That's great. You got kids. At least you got something out of the marriage, right? All right. What I would call a pretty happy marriage. Hope stage. Still in the hope. They're in a happy marriage. Just keep hoping, buddy. Keep hoping. All right, until a few years ago where my mother-in-law passed away and it sent my wife in a horrible state of depression. She was crying almost every day for about a year, but the man stuck by her side. Hmm, how typical, right? The man will stick by the side through the rough ride. All right, so she used to tell me how sad she was and how she wanted her mom back. At the 12 month mark, my wife came to me and she said that she wasn't happy anymore and didn't know how to be happy. And it started telling me that the last 10 years of our marriage have been miserable for her and she resents me. Automatically goes right to blaming the man that stuck by her side all this time in her deep depression. So she's projecting onto this gentleman that her problems are now his problems and it's all his fault that she's unhappy. When truly, she isn't happy with herself. And that's the problem. She doesn't know how to be happy with herself first before she's in this you know, this relationship now. All right. So this gentleman says, I wasn't sure what to do with this info, so I tried exploring it. She told me that she wants me to be more, more helpful around the house. She wants me to be more present with the family. I agreed to these conditions and made the changes. All right. So already he's folding doing what the wife wants, giving more, right? And let's see what he ends up getting. Up until now, things have been pretty the same for us. I go to the workplace every single day while she has a full-time job. Man, oh, ho, 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 look at this. Look at this right here. You see that? She has a full-time job managing the family and kids. Come on, man. You the full-time job come on and then she's a staying home mom don't sugarcoat it baby staying home mom oh god this poor old man man this poor sap i agreed to all the stuff she wanted and started making more of an attempt with my family making it more of a priority all right. I thought I was doing a pretty good job. This man thought he was doing a pretty good job. He's making more sacrifice. He's already working, providing for the family while the wife takes care of the kids. But the kid, the mom's still unhappy. So he's he's trying to man up, bro. He's trying to man up. Let's see what he does now. All right. All right. Let's see. I agreed to all the stuff she wanted. Fast forward eight or nine months. Takes us to February of this year. I noticed strange behavior. Oh, here we go. It's getting juicy. It's getting tricky. All right. All right. I noticed strange behavior when she was being secretive. And then I stumbled onto her Facebook page and snooped around and said she was messaging a guy from the gym a lot. Nothing sexual or romantic, but a lot of chit chat and constantly. Oh, big red flag, baby. Big red flag. He knows we're married, but guess what? Guess what? He doesn't care, okay? This is, he doesn't care. Understand that. She doesn't care either if she's messaging this guy constantly all day. I found that she started telling him all these things about the marital issues we're having. Ooh. All right. 
you know what they say, right? A shoulder to cry on is a deed to ride on, dog. You see what's happening right here? You see what happened? There is no guy best friend that comes in and talks about marital issues. You see this guy is trying to go places with this woman right here. He's trying to he's trying to rob her from this this married man. It's the only thing that's happening right now. All right, let's let's get on with the story. Gentleman says, "I said nothing and just kept a close eye to see if there's anything more that becomes of it. I found that she was lying to me about going for a run." Oh, that's what they're going to do together. They're going to run together. All right. They're going for a run with their girlfriends when she was really meeting up with him. Hmm. Oh, no, 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 no. Man, you never put yourself in this situation, my man. No, never do this. When this man confronted her and told her that he knew that she was lying to him about this guy, the other guy, and saw the messages and about the relationship, guess what she does? Guess what all the females do? You know what they do? They flip out. They say, it's your fault. They say, you're the reason I'm doing this. You're being too overprotective. You're all over the place. And it's your fault. And you're the reason why I did this. None of it's their fault. No, no. Let's read. Let's see what happened. And I haven't read any of this before I started. So this is all on the fly. This is all live reactions. Let's see what she said. Oh, oh, really? She flipped out on me and told me that I was being controlling and possessive. Oh, and there's nothing going on. And that she's giving her a male perspective on her issues. and It helps her. Oh, yeah. Shoulder to cry on. Do you need to ride on? That's what's going on here, really. She told me that she doesn't like me making her feel like I'm judging her or accusing her of cheating while she has done no such thing. Even if that's so. Even if that was so. She's done no such thing so far. But shows all of the the symptoms and, and the, the wanting to, the pursuing, the messages, the constant messages, the meeting, the lying. It's all there. It's all a package deal. All right, let's continue here. I explained to her that I am uncomfortable with her having a male friend of this nature. And she told me she can't stand being married to someone who makes me feel like this. And it's enough to make her leave. I was like, what? Oh, wait, this person I married really isn't who I married. This is the bait and switch tactic. Oh God. All right, let's go on. This is getting very brutal. Hopefully it doesn't get nasty. This went on for a few days and we agreed that as long as she didn't lie about this guy, she could be friends with him, but it is to to be toned down. Oh man. This guy has a brutal red, red pill awakening coming for him, gentlemen. Like He is giving in to every single one of her demands, and he is just completely folding. She does not respect him as a man at all, like, at all, period, and she's walking all over him. This is, this is disgusting. Disgusting. All right. That went on for about a month, and she told me a few times that she was going for a run with him, but the text increased, and then she started lying again. Oh, really? Oh, really? She started lying again about her toned-down conversations with her male friend? Oh, really? No way. Don't worry, but you're being control. You're the controlling one. All right? <laughs> Whatever. All right. So she tells him all the amazing things she's accomplished, which she hasn't, and he just pumps her up and praises her. They met up a few times to get a bite to eat alone. Oh, that would have been it, dude. No, no. You cannot allow this. (laughs) You're being disrespected as a man. To let your woman go out with another man on a date, dude. Just, it's over. You're done. Cut her off. God. Oh, here we go. They met up a few times to get a bite to eat alone and they lied about it. I caught her texting him in bed late at night one evening and she hid her phone quickly and pretended nothing was going on. I let it go until one night I found out she was out with him and she lied about it to me. You see why I'm starting this series? This is juicy. This is gold. 
get on this site, guys. I just it'll blow your mind to know that not everyone has the information and the knowledge to be operating in a way where you're in control of your own life. This is brutal, dude. This is brutal to <laughs> this is brutal to watch. This is brutal to talk about. I gotta keep going though. I gotta power through the man. All right. I confronted her again, and the same thing happened. She flipped out on me and called me controlling, and she can't deal with me. Oh, really? But he dealed with you? He stayed by your side all the time when you were depressed, when your mother died? You know what this really is? The new man that comes into her life has to move a pebble to impress her, while the current man has to move a boulder to be able to impress her. She's just looking for something new, something that she hasn't experienced before. That's all it comes down to. All right. I told her that no one in this world would accept their partner texting someone they don't know of the opposite gender. This often, especially most of the times in these circumstances, is just unacceptable. And she disagreed. She then told me she needs a week away from me that she can't stand being around me at the moment. She booked a hotel and took off and left me with the kids. Oh, no. I'm starting to feel bad for this man right here. She is leaving her children with their father to go and play gymnastics at a hotel with the other man. Bro. Leave her, man. It's over. She's not yours. It's just your turn, my friend. This takes us to the present day. She is currently away, but I've been snooping to see that what has she been up to. The first day after she left, she arranged to meet him at the gym, did a workout, jumped in his car, and they went to get dinner. The second day, they went for a run, and then they got some dinner, sat in the car, and talked in the park. About two hours of chatting and eating. He dropped her at her car, and she went back to the hotel, and he went home. But it's been texting him a lot. No, 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 no. The past two days, when he's not with him, I can't see the messages just to have access to the messages timestamp. She's been looking at this Facebook profile and searching for him online each night and looking at at his past girlfriend's pages. There's a bit that I can see, but there's a lot that I can't. This is what I'm privy to at the moment. And it's clearly she's got a thing for this guy. Clearly, dude. It's over. <laughs> you never let your woman do this to you, bro. This is unacceptable. I know, feel that all the stuff she made up about not being happy with me and being miserable for the past 10 years is a cover for this relationship with this guy to make an excuse to kill the marriage. And she told me she needs time away about whether she wants to continue with me. And I've spoken to two friends about this and they are as shocked as I am. All right. All right. She has never, I don't know what that is. We have been together and had many male friends and other minor acquaintances. Mm-hmm. Male friends, huh? Yeah, this is a reoccurring thing, man. This is, this hasn't just happened once. I'm sorry to tell you. Yep. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. It's very out of character for her to do this. I know that I can't accept this on any level, and it's driving me absolutely mad. I don't believe she's physically cheating, but she's clearly putting on a lot of motion to a new relationship that's taking away from our marriage. I don't want to lose my family unit, but I can't live like this. What do I do? Everything in my gut is telling me this is unsalvageable. How do you come back from this? And I've sort of decided what she's going to come back, and I'm going to tell her she needs to kill this with this guy. And no more types of things as this in the future. And I'm obviously afraid of this. This is, this is the outcome. I'm just looking at... um. Oh, there's an update. Wow. Anyways, guys, that is right. That is right there where 
classic bait and switch tactics. And it's obviously, it was not obvious to this gentleman yet, but this has been happening for a long time with (laughs) their male acquaintances, male friends. And, you know, this really isn't out of character for her. And what it seems is that she's projecting everything that's wrong with her on this man and saying that you're the reason for all of it and she's trying to run away from her problems like a child and not being an adult and that's just it's terrible to see this man go through this but eh, this marriage is over man i mean like people in the comment section are just saying the same thing look lawyer don't call her start planning your new life sport start dating there it is guys really yo if you appreciate this man if you like this new series that i started i think i'm going to continue with this series you know um consider dropping a like subscribing man i'm going to be putting out these at least twice a week dude i really like going through these this is funny i mean it's not funny for these guys but it's just it's funny the scenario people put themselves into without realizing they're putting themselves in a box So that's going to be it, man. That's Rocco checking out. Peace.